Hi, I'm Sylvie Chomp, and today we're going to learn how to respawn a snowball. I have a snowball right here, and I'd like to build a snowman. But my second one just happened to spawn really far away from the first one. It's here, and I don't want to roll it all the way back down just to meet the first snowball. So I'm going to break it on purpose by kicking it into a fence. Once it's broken, I'm going to enter a building. This is Goldie's house, by the way. Now the reason I'm entering a building is that once I go back outside, the snowball will respawn somewhere else. I'm just gonna walk back out. Sorry, Goldie. And now that I'm back outside, we can look for the snowball. Again, remember to go into a building and walk back out just to respawn the snowball. If we're lucky, the snowball is going to respawn closer to the first one. Awesome! They're both here. As a bonus, let's build our snowman right now. Generally, you'll have to kick a snowball 13 times on the snowy ground before you can start rolling it. That is unless a dung beetle has started rolling it for you already. I like to keep rolling it on the snowy ground because if you roll it on the path, like the brick path right here, the snowball will start to get smaller, and you'll have to restart again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and roll. Be sure you build your snowman in a spacious area. Otherwise, the snowballs will not pile on top of each other. Yay! The snowman is done! So just to recap, if your snowball spawns somewhere you don't like, you can break it, refresh it by going into a building, and it will respawn somewhere else. If you'd like to try building a small snowman like the one in the video, you can compare the snowman to my character size for reference. Good luck!